I just got my new travel tripod, the Sirui Traveler 5C. Let's open it up and check it out. Okay guys, so this is what you get inside the box. You get the tripod itself with a ball head and a hook here at the bottom. You also get this uh, compact carrying case made out of nylon basically. And then you also here get some manuals, Allen keys to adjust the tripod. Okay, so now let's talk about the build quality of this tripod and pretty much the whole tripod is built out of carbon fiber and aluminum. The legs are built out of carbon fiber. The certain column is also built out of carbon fiber, but these parts in here are built out of aluminum. The triangle in here also built out of aluminum. And the ball head as well is built out of aluminum. So the build quality feels really high quality. I've been using Sirui tripod for the last uh, four years and I've been highly impressed with the build quality of the tripods. Now let's measure the weight. Sirui claims that this tripod should weigh 850 grams, including the ball head. So let's see if that's true. So it's not really true. It's 890 grams. So 40 grams heavier than what it says on the Sirui website. And now I want to measure the length of this tripod when it's folded and then unfolded. Again, Sirui claims that it's supposed to be 33 centimeters when it's folded, and I don't know exactly how much when it's unfolded. So when it's folded, it's 33 centimeters. Yes, with the ball head, I can even make it like 31 centimeters if I want to. I guess the tripod itself without the ball head is 31 centimeters, extremely compact. Very, very compact. Now, this is the length of the tripod when it's unfolded completely and it's about 62 centimeters, okay? But if you want to make it shorter, you can obviously remove the center column if you want to. And now it's going to be 41 centimeters when it's unfolded, but you're not gonna have the center column attached to the tripod. Okay, now let's take a look at the ball head. So this is the ball head that comes with the tripod. It's very compact and small as you can see. This is the Sirui 3T35K ball head. Has only one adjustment wheel. And with this wheel, you'll be able to move the ball head itself and also pan the ball head around. Personally, I prefer having two adjustment wheels, one for the ball head and one for the panning. But I guess for the price and for the size, it's totally fine. On top of the ball head, we have an Arco Swiss mechanism basically. So it comes with this tiny plate, Arco Swiss plate. This is the TYC10 plate by Sirui. By the way, before purchasing this tripod, I was thinking if this tripod has a, a metal pin option in the end of it. And unfortunately, as far as I can see, you don't really have any metal pin option in the end of the tripod. So if you're planning to use your tripod in nature to stick it to some mud or something like that. Unfortunately, this tripod does not have any metal pin option in the end of its legs. Okay, so now let's see how smooth is the leg mechanism on the Sirui Traveler 5C. So let's open one of the legs. Everything is very smooth. Press one button in here and close it. Everything is working pretty nice. Let's see the other legs. Okay, here it's jumping, but I guess you have to push it all the way through and then it's gonna lock. All right, now let's take a look at the twist lock mechanism on the legs. So you have one, two, three, four twist locks in here. You can open them up all at once, and then you can extend the tripod. Everything is very smooth. OK, 
Okay, so the twist lock mechanism here is very, very smooth, and also you have kind of a grip area on the twist locks, which feels really nice to twist uh, with the fingers. So far, everything is really nice and smooth. Okay, so now let's see how low you can get with this tripod, and then we're going to see how high you can get with this tripod. So I'm gonna put a tripod in its lowest position, and this is the lowest tripod position. It's very low, but we can make it even lower by removing the center column. This is about, I would say, 10 centimeters, something like that. Let me actually measure that. No, it's 17 centimeters. This is the lowest point of the tripod. And then you have level two. This will get you to 30 centimeters. And the default level will get you to 39 centimeters. And of course, with the center column, it's gonna be a bit higher. So at the default position with the center column, it's 60 centimeters. Then at the second level, it's 52 centimeters. And then in the final level, it's 38 centimeters. All right, so now let's see how high I can get this tripod. So I'm going to fully extend it. I'm going to also mount my camera. This is the Fujifilm X-T4 with the Fuji non 6 into 55, and this whole package weighs about 1,300 grams. Okay, so my height is 174 centimeters, and looks like this tripod is pretty much perfect for someone with my height. I can comfortably shoot pictures just like so. And if I want to, I can extend this tripod even more to this level, but it feels pretty unstable when it's fully extended like that. I mean, it's doable, but it's a, a bit uh, wobbly. But right now it's super comfortable to take pictures, pretty much eye level with my height. Let me measure the maximum height. 138 centimeters. That's the height, the maximum height of this tripod. And if I'm going to lower it a little bit, it's gonna be 123 centimeters. And then if I'm going to remove the center column, now the tripod is at 102 centimeters. All right, so now I want to test how stable this tripod is. At the moment, I don't have the center column attached to the tripod, and it feels very stable. Like I said, this is the Fujifilm X-T4 with the Fujinon 1655, and this package weighs about 1,300 grams, and it feels very stable. Even if I touch the tripod, wiggle it around, everything feels extremely stable. Okay, everything feels really nice. Now I'm gonna attach the center column. Okay, so now I have the center column attached to the tripod. Let's see how stable the camera is. I'm just gonna move around the camera. And I must say it feels pretty stable. Not as stable as it was before without the center column, of course, but it is pretty stable. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out in windy conditions, but I think it's gonna be fine if you're gonna have a bag attached to the hook or something like that. Feels pretty stable. Now let's extend it fully. And here I can definitely see some weirdness, like it's wiggling a lot and it's moving a lot. It's really delicate at the moment, so one wrong move and it's gonna fall basically. But still, I guess if you're gonna have a bag attached to the tripod, even here, it's wiggling too much, but it's much better with something attached to the hook. So the best stable position is without using the center column, then the second level is second best, and the final, the highest point of the tripod is basically for extreme situations when you really need the height uh, of the tripod. All right, so now I want to see how good the ball head is locking the camera in different kinds of angles. For example, if I'm shooting uh, with this angle, 
taking pictures, 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 and then if I want to change an angle with the ball head to this angle, and it holds it fine. If I push the camera with force, it does move, but it's staying locked pretty much in all kinds of angles, up, down. Then I can do portrait, just like so. Okay, let's do this, like that. Everything is fine. The ball head definitely holds my camera and my lens without any issues. Maybe if you're gonna have a heavier camera, it's gonna move a lot, but with something compact as I have, it's gonna be totally fine. By the way, this tripod is rated up to like four kilograms, so up to four kilograms, you basically should be fine. Anywho guys, I think this is it for today. This is going to be my new uh, travel tripod. Let me know down below which travel tripod are you using, and I hope you find this video informative and useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.